Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to the Makeup Mummy family. And guys, if you are new to my channel, it would be awesome if you can hit that subscribe button and join me here at Makeup Mummy. And if you do, remember and hit that bell as that will notify you every time I upload, which is Fridays and Sundays. So guys, today's video, we are talking about a very new product that's hit the market and it is from I Heart Revolution and it is their new Mermaid's Heart eyeshadow palette. I am wearing it on my eyes today guys. I have many thoughts about it so I wanted to bring it to you just as a little review um, just showing you the packaging, letting you know the price, um, showing you the pigmentation, obviously just giving you my overall thoughts. I have only used this product once and that is here today but I just wanted to give you my sort of first impression thoughts what I feel on the palette so far. I will be using this palette in future videos, tutorials, you know, more in depth about this but I was just so excited I had to bring this video to you guys. So without further ado, let's just hop on into this video. Okay guys, so, oh, this is the little palette right here. As you can see, it's got that holographic look to it on the front and it has I'll bring it closer see if you can see it has the mermaid's heart logo there I heart revolution now I do have the mermaid's heart highlighter which is absolutely stunning and I have used the highlight on my eyes also to create shimmers so I thought this would be the ideal palette for me to collect first. As far as I'm aware, there is three palettes to collect. There is this one right here, the Mermaid's Heart. There is the Dragon's Heart. And there's also the Unicorn's Heart. So um, plenty to choose from. And oh, they are so affordable, guys. This was like £6.99 and you're getting 12 eyeshadows. And this brand is cruelty and vegan free. So again, another reason to be loving this brand, the affordability, the quality, and also the fact it's cruelty free. Now, before we go any further, Revolution don't know who I am. Adam Minto doesn't know who I am. I'm not doing this video because of them. I'm not sponsored by them. Nobody knows who I am. I'm just doing this video because I adore makeup. This was purchased from my own money. Um, I just adore makeup and anything that's sort of new, I kind of want to get my toes wet. You know, I want to try it out, see what I think. I'm actually, I think, going to place another order with Revolution today. They've got a couple of new things out that I kind of want to pick out. They have the mini chocolate palettes now. I think there's four of them so far. And they've got their new interchangeable liners. I think it's like, you know, like when you used to get the handwriting pens that had all the different colours on it? It's like that. There's three to collect. There's a nude, a bright and... I think just a multi so I may have a look at a few of those and bring them to you too so let's go into this palette itself so like I said this is the packaging on the back here you get what shades you're getting it also tells you that it is cruelty free and vegan free and has the bunny right there it is 12 months shelf life and you're getting 12 eyeshadows at 0.03 ounces which is 0.75 grams it is magnetic so let me just grab it like that. So you open it up like that and it just magnetically closes. And as you probably saw, this is what you see inside, guys. How beautiful are these colours? Now, I have used quite a few of my eye today, as you can see. We sort of did a, did a, done a halo eye sort of thing. And I've used these two shimmers here. I used a gold for the, the inner corner. I used this matte blue right here, this matte blue. And I also used a little of this champagne. This is more like a topper. And I just added it ever so slightly on the turquoise shimmer. Um, oh, guys, these are amazing amazing 6.99 and the quality is really really good guys i use these two also for transition shades you know just to add a little bit of color just to coat the lid after i had concealed and um, but everything ugh, is just beautiful let me just swatch some of these for you there's no names which is a little bit of a shame um because i do like to know obviously what shades i'm using so that when i'm doing tutorials here i can let you guys know what shade i'm using but unfortunately with these palettes there doesn't seem to be any names anywhere on the palette at all even on the back there's nothing there's not even a little sheet that comes with it which is a little disappointing but the quality itself guys is amazing i'm going to show you this turquoise shimmer that i used here today look at that and i'm just going to place that right there 
So as you can see, full on pigmentation. And guys, the shimmers are really, really creamy and buttery. You know, they're not hard. They are ultra soft and just feel amazing under the finger. I'm going to show you the other um, turquoise shimmer that I use. This one is a little bit more on the bluey side rather than the green, whereas this is straight up greeny turquoise, whereas I think this one is just a little bluer in colour. Um, not much difference. It even comes off on camera a little greener even. Um, not much in difference between these two, as you can clearly see. It's just the tiniest difference. I think this one is a more bluey green, whereas this one's more a straight up aqua sort of turquoise shade. But both absolutely stunning, just amazing on the eye. I'll swatch the gold also, this gold shimmer right here. This kind of reminds me of, I'm not saying it's a dupe or identical, but kind of reminds me of the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife. Um, so let me just put that right down there. So as you can see, it's that straight up beautiful gold. It's so buttery, guys, and it looks amazing on the inner corner. I just put a little bit because I wasn't sure how it would work with the look we were going for. I didn't want to ruin anything. And, I, you know, I think a gold of this pigment and this like shimmer could be a little intimidating you know you don't want to ruin your look but absolutely stunning this would also look good as a halo eye you know with maybe different colors going on or even a cut crease or a half cut crease Oof. the possibilities are endless so let me just take this matte blue so as you can see very very vivid a real turquoise sky blue. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shade. As you can see, it packs a punch, guys. It really, really does. I mean, the all these shades are just so pigmented. Like I said, and I've always said, and I'll stick by it, is that swatches don't give you the real the real nitty gritty of the palette. You know, the swatches could look rubbish on your hand but perform really, really well on the eye or they could perform really, really well on the arm and look absolutely rubbish on the eye. But guys, these performed well both in swatches and applying them to the eye. And I've got to say, at the moment, my skin has dried up a little. I don't know what's going on. Um, and my eyelids have got quite a bit of dry pat, like a lot of dry patches going on there. Um, and it didn't really cling to anything. You know, at first when I put the transition shades on, I noticed that there was a bit of grabbing and I thought, here we go. The eyeshadows are going to look absolutely horrific. But you know what? They still blended out a dream. They look amazing on the eye. You can see that there is a slight amount of grabbing just here. But it's nothing that people would look at you thinking, God, what's wrong with your eyeshadow? You know? So this is the other blue that I used here today. And as you can see, that's more of a deep navy blue. It is just simply beautiful. And that's what I've got on the outer corners here is that deep blue. Um, and I'm going to show you this topper as well. So as you can see, very, very champagne. Got that sort of pink undertone going on. And I'm just going to put that right next to our navy blue here. How beautiful is that shade, guys? How beautiful is it? I mean, it's stunning. I just tapped the tiniest amount on top. I did feel it sort of took away the turquoisey look, so I kind of added a little bit more of that turquoise shimmer because I didn't want to lose that colour. But, oh, this palette is just amazing, amazing. Now, I'm going to actually swatch the ones that we didn't use here today. This is more of like a bronzy one we've got here. Very, very creamy, oh, so, so buttery, almost to the point that you would think they were crumbling underneath your finger. But in fact, they're not, guys. I'm just going to show you. As you can see, they're not crumbling. They're not looking chalky, but it has that texture like they're actually just melting underneath your finger. So let me just put that next to our beautiful champagne. How opaque are these? I mean... You would think, guys, if I hadn't shown you this palette and I just come on here and I was swatching and sent to you, I've got an eyeshadow palette sat here, I am going to swatch it for you, and I showed you these colours, would you guys think that this was a £6.99 palette? I am blown away, guys. And that just verifies what I've said before, is that you do not need to be spending a fortune on makeup to get an amazing quality eyeshadow palette. I mean, let's face it, we all want that 
really nice palette. We all want the Anastasia Beverly Hills or the Kat Von D or the Too Faced. I have some of these myself and there's many other ones that I'm looking at thinking, God, I really like that, really like it. But you know what? This is amazing, amazing quality. The pigmentation is amazing. The shadows feel amazing. They apply and blend amazing. And like I said, they didn't grab to anything ever so slightly here with one of the transition shades that I used, but nothing that I would think, oh my God, I cannot work with these. No fallout either on the eye, which is amazing. A little bit of kickback on the brush, but again, nothing to be writing home about. So we have this one here, which is sort of like a charcoal grey shade. Um, and let me just pop that right down there. As you can see, again, great pigmentation, really opaque. And then the, we've got two left. We've got sort of like a greeny shim shimmer and we've got a mustardy yellow. It has gotten very, very dark all of a sudden. The sun's disappeared. So let me just take this green shimmer. I feel so soft, guys, honestly. Look at that. Sort of like on the verge of khaki, but emerald sort of in there in between. Let's put that next to our little grey. How amazing are these colours? I am, like I said, blown away, guys. The, the, the quality is outstanding. And then the last one we have here is like a mustardy yellow, as you can see. And we're just going to pop that next to our green shimmer. So guys, that is the eyeshadow palette. That is the swatches for all of the shades, ones that I use today and ones that I haven't used yet. And as you can see, the pigmentation is outstanding. You know, the quality is outstanding. The affordability is fantastic, you know, because it's not everybody, and I am including myself in this, guys. It is not everybody that at this minute in time can go and fork out 43, 45, 50 pounds on an eyeshadow palette. Would I love to? You better believe I would, but it's just not always possible. There's bills to pay, there's a house to run, we've got a car, kids. You can't just splash out on all those expensive things when you have all those responsibilities. So to have a palette of this nature and to know that there's other ones to collect, so you're going to get different colours as well, is amazing for $6.99 when this is the quality you're getting. And as you can see, it's not just the quality of the swatches, it is the quality of the shadows on the eye themselves. So I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed at the moment. Like I said, this is just first time using it. So I'm going to continue using it so I can see how the rest of the shadows perform how they work well with other eyeshadow palettes um, but as you can see guys that is pretty darn amazing I am super 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 impressed with this eyeshadow palette and I'm glad I went for this one first because I, my favourite colour is blue so obviously for me this was the the choice um, when I seen all those blues and greens turquoises I had to have this one first so today I feel I am going to go and place another little order with Revolution Beauty and I'm maybe going to pick up the Dragon's Heart I think maybe I want next. That's got more, so it still has blues in there but it's got more warmer shades in there too. So I think I'm going to pick that one up because if this is the quality of all of these palettes, I'm going to be one happy chick. I'm also I think going to pick up another couple of their new liners and things like that just so I could try out and play about with them but... That's my thoughts on this palette, guys. One, it's so affordable. It's £6.99. There are two other ones to collect. What did I say? Dragon's Heart, Mermaid's Heart, Unicorn's Heart. So, yeah, there's three to collect. So, I've got another two to get. Um, they're cruelty-free and vegan-free. The pigmentation is absolutely on point. The blendability, they apply great. They look great on the eyes. They feel amazing. There was no fallout under the eye. A little kickback on your brush. Um, everything feels really soft and buttery um, and the packaging is just amazing as well and it's very very travel friendly it's very very light it's very very compact so you could just slip this in your travel bag and you're ready to go um, you do have transition shades in there so you're not stuck for thinking how am I going to create a look you've also got your deep dark shades there for like smoking out your corners so there's nothing really at the moment I can fault with this palette guys I am in love and I am about to hop on Revolution Beauty and order yet another one because these are amazing so I would definitely say it's worth your money definitely go and order one if you haven't already um, Revolution Beauty are killing it at the moment you know 
this brand is going places fast real real fast and i think they're actually giving the higher end brands a run for their money to be honest because this is the sort of quality they're producing at a very very affordable price so well done guys so that is it for me today just rambling about this palette just show you guys you know what it looks like the pigmentation what it looks like on the eye and my overall thoughts you can get this from revolution beauty i don't think they're on superdrug just yet and um, they are coming though but i don't think they're there yet but definitely give it a check in case um <clears throat> and like i said 6.99 guys you can't complain so that is it for me today i hope you guys are having a good one wherever you are whether it be day or night remember and stay safe and guys i would appreciate it a whole ton if you could hit that subscribe button and join me here at makeup mommy and if you do remember and hit the bell as that will notify you every time i upload which is fridays and sundays because remember guys it's not enough now to be just subscribed to the channel you need to hit that bell in order for my videos to hit your subscription boxes so until the next video guys you take care i love you and we'll see you in the next one bye